Hans, where do you see dollar going by your end? Well, I think that the US dollar should uh, depreciate, and uh, I think that we are pretty close uh, to cycle peaks. And um, you were mentioning the GDP report as a type of uh, uh, sell the rumor by the, or other way around um, uh, that the US dollar was uh, reacting badly to um, a strong GDP report. But uh, the GDP report was by no means uh, convincing, and especially you need to look into the uh, inflation component of the uh, of the uh, GDP report. Now we will have then later today the PSE report and um, when we are going to see more moderation or on the inflation front uh, that actually puts a highlight on, on the Fed. So how is the Fed going to react to that? Is the Fed actually going to uh, take us uh, closer towards um, a rate cut? And uh, all this is happening within an environment where we have the first signs that the rest of the globe uh, is recovering. So yet uh, the Chinese data, a number of them had been on the positive side. We think that uh, spillover effects into the other economies are going to develop. We had in our last FX pulse, we had a study out there which we investigated what are the spillover effects, the time lags uh, to, to look at from yeah. the first day of the monetary and fiscal impulse. And, and what, what are they? Basically, what you see is uh, somewhere between uh, two months and uh, nine, uh, seven months in the case of Korea. And that actually means uh, that uh, the weakness uh, we have seen so far in uh, non-Chinese data is not yet a concern. It is not uh, supporting the thesis many people have out there, which is what uh, uh, happened uh, in China is going to stay in China in a way that uh, the Chinese grocer environment is changing. It is more consumer driven. Therefore, the import penetration is a different one. So this would be we, inflation up across the world? We would say that um, that there's a positive impact from the uh, Chinese uh, economy into uh, the health of the global economic cycle, the rest of the world economic cycle. That is going to be the name's main theme for the next uh, six months to come. Okay, what happens to emerging markets on the back of your dollar call? Well, I think that generally emerging markets are going to stay bitter. There may be some uh, short-term ir irritations uh, still uh, taking place. We have uh, uh, a Chinese uh, PMI to come and uh, we suggest that because of seasonality, uh, this uh, week's release of the Chinese PMI could actually coming in a little bit weaker. And as that is going to happen, you will have uh, another test uh, in the emerging market. Now, last week, the emerging market currency index lost about 0.8 percent. That was mainly driven what happened in Argentina, what happened in Turkey. So you had um, um, a few uh, currencies really having a significant uh, uh, impact, index uh, impact. But uh, when you look at um, the main drive up, driving um, point for emerging market, that is what you can make in real terms relative to your alternative uh, investment. And when you look into DM, then you see that the real yield in DM is currently at about 0.15. Yep. The real yield in emerging market on ag aggregate is at 1.7. So there's a huge difference uh, between the two. And uh, that is in an environment where the funding need of emerging market is by far less emphasized when compared to about five years ago. So I think that that should, uh, in the longer term, support a quite good bit into the emerging market FX spectrum.